astronomers are questioning their knowledge of the universe following the release of new images taken by the James Webb Telescope. It has taken pictures of six galaxies that are some of the oldest that we've seen. That are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Do you remember the catchy opening theme from the Big Bang Theory? It might have been your first introduction to the Big Bang Hypothesis, which suggests that the universe began as a hot and dense state that rapidly expanded over 14 billion years ago. But hold on tight, because the James Webb Telescope has just revealed something truly astounding. Six massive galaxies that emerged just half a billion years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are up to 10 times larger than our very own Milky Way, leaving astronomers speechless. Even Michio Kaku, a renowned physicist, has come out to discuss this incredible discovery. Could this be the start of a groundbreaking new era in our understanding of the cosmos? Join us in today's video as we explore the unknown and unravel the mysteries of these fascinating galaxies thanks to the James Webb Telescope. The Big Bang Theory is not just a popular TV show, it's also one of the most fascinating and widely accepted theories in modern cosmology. It describes the origin of our universe as a massive explosion that happened around 13.8 billion years ago. This explosion created space and time, as well as all the matter and energy in the universe. Imagine a tiny singularity, smaller than an atom, suddenly expanding and creating everything we know today. However, the Big Bang itself is not something we can see. What we can see is the heat that was there about 380,000 years after the expansion of the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. This heat covers the entire sky and fills the universe, in fact it still does. Scientists were able to map it with satellites that NASA and ESA built, called the Cosmic Background Explorer COBE, the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotrophy Probe WMAP, and Planck. The universe at this point was extremely smooth with only tiny ripples in the temperature. However, in 1996, a group of brilliant minds across the globe embarked on an audacious mission to design the most advanced space apparatus the world had ever seen, with a whopping budget of $1 billion. Their ultimate goal? To create a telescope that would surpass the legendary Hubble. Fast forward 25 years and $10 billion later, and we finally have the James Webb Space Telescope, a complex behemoth of a machine that promises to revolutionize our comprehension of the universe and our cosmic origins. In essence, it's like building a colossal time machine, one that won't transport us physically, but will reveal snapshots of the universe during its earliest stages. However, peering back so far in time is not without its surprises, and some of them aren't exactly pleasant. Brace yourself, because the James Webb Telescope has just unearthed the biggest cosmic bombshell of all time, sending shockwaves throughout the astronomical and cosmological communities, and causing panic among everyday folks like you and me. With each passing day, the James Webb Space Telescope is proving to be a real game-changer, poking holes in our understanding of the universe and leaving scientists scratching their heads in amazement. But this latest revelation is the ultimate shocker, the one that has cosmologists and astronomers questioning the very foundation of their knowledge about the universe. By uncovering some of the most ancient galaxies in the universe, the James Webb Telescope may have just upended the Big Bang Theory, casting doubts on the standard cosmological model that has long been accepted. And this news of James Webb Space Telescope's mind-blowing discovery has also caught the attention of Michio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist who has weighed in on the matter. According to the latest findings, NASA's multi-billion dollar telescope has picked up six humongous galaxies that are so massive they defy the laws of physics. These behemoths, equivalent in size to our Milky Way, were formed just 500 to 600 million years after the Big Bang, and their existence has been dubbed a universe breaker by the team of astronomers who made the discovery. The reason? Because if the discovery is accurate, it throws our entire understanding of galaxy formation into disarray. 
Erica Nelson, an astrophysics assistant professor at the University of Colorado Boulder who was part of the team that made the groundbreaking discovery, has dropped a bombshell by stating that the early universe wasn't supposed to have the ability to come together so quickly. These galaxies should not have had enough time to form, she remarked in a statement. While the exact timeline of how and when the first clumps of stars began to merge to form galaxies is still a mystery, previous estimates suggest that the process slowly began to take shape within a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. According to current theories, proto-galaxies that existed 1 to 2 billion years into the universe's life eventually matured into dwarf galaxies that began merging and consuming each other to grow into galaxies like our own Milky Way. The farther we look into the universe, the deeper back in time we go, as the light takes a while to reach us. By using the James Webb Telescope to look back 13.5 billion years into the past, the team of astronomers discovered that massive galaxies had already come to life shortly after the Big Bang, when the universe was a mere 3% of its current age. This mind-boggling revelation has compelled us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the universe and its evolution. These colossal galaxies are so massive that they challenge 99% of the models for cosmology. This implies that either these models need to be revised, or our understanding of how galaxies are formed requires a complete overhaul. This is yet another mind-bending discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope that is shaking the foundations of astrophysics. To put things into perspective, our Milky Way galaxy only produces one to two new stars every year. The sheer size of these newly discovered galaxies implies that they would have had to form hundreds of new stars annually throughout the universe's history. If even one of these galaxies is authentic, it will defy the limits of our comprehension of cosmology and force us to reconsider everything we thought we knew about the universe. At the moment, it seems that these entities are indeed galaxies, but there is still a possibility that they could be supermassive black holes or quasars. Nevertheless, the amount of mass they possess is staggering and challenges previous assumptions about the early universe. According to the James Webb Space Telescope, the known mass in stars during this period is up to 100 times greater than what was previously estimated. This is huge, especially considering that the Hubble Space Telescope was not able to detect these massive galaxies before. However, the James Webb Telescope, which was designed to observe the faintest light in the earliest history of the universe, has once again proven its worth by making us question our current understanding of the cosmos. This is not the first time the James Webb Space Telescope has caused a stir with its groundbreaking discoveries, as it made a significant breakthrough about the Big Bang Theory just last year. Now, science is all about asking questions, and when something as fundamental as the Big Bang Theory is being questioned, it's nothing short of terrifying. After all, if the Big Bang didn't happen, how did we come into existence? What's the origin story of all these celestial bodies we see around us? Are we living in a simulation created by advanced aliens, or is there something beyond our comprehension controlling the universe? But let's take a step back and see how the James Webb Space Telescope is throwing the Big Bang Theory into doubt. The first images from Webb suggest that there were massive galaxies that formed within the first 250 million years after the Big Bang. One galaxy in particular, known as Sears 93316, existed just 235 million years after the Big Bang, making it so remote that its light took 13.5 billion years to reach us. These ancient galaxies appear to be more massive than what the standard cosmological model describes, and their smoothness and old age is concerning. If the Big Bang occurred only 250 million years ago, how could these galaxies have fully formed into what we see today? It's almost as if they had started forming before the Big Bang, which challenges the entire premise of the theory. To make matters more confusing, even the galaxies that are more massive than our own Milky Way appear to be smaller in these images than in similar ones taken with the Hubble. Furthermore, in the newest images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, galaxies with red shifts appear larger and brighter than expected. Normally, as objects get further away, their surface brightness should decline, but these observations show that surface brightness remains constant with distance, which contradicts the theory of an expanding universe. 
To make matters worse for the Big Bang Theory, some of the galaxies captured by the JWST show stellar populations that are over a billion years old, despite being only 400 to 500 million years old according to the theory. The Big Bang hypothesis suggests that nothing could have existed before it, but these ancient galaxies prove otherwise. Big Bang supporters try to explain away this evidence by claiming that the galaxies were much smaller in the past. But this too has been refuted by observations that show there haven't been enough galaxy mergers for them to grow at the rate needed. It seems that the Big Bang theory is facing some serious challenges and may need to be completely rethought. In addition to the previous points, it is worth noting that the hypothesis of ultra-small galaxies with more mass in stars than total mass is not the only contradiction to the Big Bang theory. Even if we assume that the Big Bang did happen, there should be no galaxies older than the Big Bang itself. As the James Webb Space Telescope peers further into space and back in time, we should see fewer galaxies and eventually none at all. However, a recent study that has yet to be published in Nature suggests otherwise. The study demonstrates that galaxies as massive as the Milky Way were already common just a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. The authors argue that the new images from Webb reveal at least 100,000 times as many galaxies at redshifts greater than 10 than what theorists had predicted. But how could so many large galaxies have formed in such a short time? This further undermines the Big Bang theory. Despite these findings, it is surprising that the collapse of the Big Bang hypothesis is not receiving more attention from major news outlets. Perhaps this is because funding for cosmology research is largely controlled by a handful of committees dominated by Big Bang theorists who have a vested interest in upholding the theory they have spent their lives building. As a result, scientists who openly question the Big Bang theory may struggle to secure funding. Nevertheless, as the James Webb Space Telescope continues to produce new images of the ancient universe, the truth about the origin of our universe is bound to emerge, and it is only a matter of time before we have a more accurate and compelling story to tell. What do you make of these developments? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below.